utility, economy, and progressive engineering. Regular updates by Honda have kept the Civic at the head of its class. Now it's a new model year, and we have a new Civic design to show you. It's the most improved Civic to date. But can even Honda stay on top forever? Well, the engineers at Honda are certainly going to give it their best shot. They've designed a completely new Civic lineup. We tested both ends of the line, the EX four-door sedan and the VX hatchback. The mileage liter VX hatchback is the most newsworthy of the new Civics. Its engine is a 1.5 liter, 16 valve, four cylinder, but it uses a combination of the VTEC variable valve timing system pioneered by the Acura NSX and computer controlled lean burn technology. Together they provide 92 horsepower, almost 50% more than last year's CRX HF motor and EPA fuel economy ratings of 48 city and 55 highway. 55 miles per gallon is exactly what we got on our mixed test loop. Quite impressive. And the VX still managed a respectable 0 to 60 time of 9.6 seconds. Ran the quarter mile in 17.5 seconds at 77 miles per hour. On the downside, we did notice some hesitation under hard throttle. Also, VX models sold in California are less frugal since they don't have the lean burn heads due to that state's stricter emission laws. Like all 92 Civics, the hatchback is longer than its predecessor, with a longer wheelbase that minimizes front and rear body overhang, and it's all wrapped in handsome rounded sheet metal. A rather unusual design feature is the two-piece tailgate. It's a gimmick, but can be useful for the occasional tailgate party. While the VX hatchback may be the Civic's mileage leader, it's the line's new four-door sedan that is likely to be the sales leader. With a wheelbase that is actually longer than the Toyota Camry, the new sedan has also been restyled. Its flowing lines give the steel compact dimensions a big European car look. And the spacious, feature-laden interior of our top-of-the-line EX gray test car rivals that of its larger relative, the Accord. Like all Hondas, Civics now feature a driver's side airbag as standard equipment. The dash is now an ultra-clean design, but borders on stark. It does feature well-marked flush switches and a clear gauge package. We used to complain about Civic seats, but they have improved greatly in the last few years. Our Civic's front buckets offered comfort and support. All Civic sedans include a tilt steering wheel, and while the seats don't adjust for height, the seat belts do. The controls on our car's ventilation system were well-marked and easy to understand but didn't work as smoothly as past Civics. The stereo controls, however, did. The high dash position of this cassette unit is just right. A longer wheelbase naturally means more rear seat room. While hardly a Cadillac, the Civic sedan has enough room for most adults. The locking seat back folds for increased cargo room, but it's not split for best utility. Also, getting to the trunk from the outside isn't easy, thanks to a very short trunk lid. Most big bags will fit, but it looks less than practical. Under the EX sedan's hood is the same 16-valve four-cylinder that powers the Performance Civic SI hatchback. It has a variable valve timing system similar to that of the VX, but uses it more to produce power than high mileage. In this case, 125 horsepower and 106 pound-feet of torque. The EPA fuel mileage ratings are still a reasonable 29 city, 36 highway. Again, we got mileage at the top end, this time 35 miles per gallon and a 0 to 60 time of 8.6 seconds. Our sedan ran the full quarter mile in 16.8 seconds at 83 miles per hour. The VTEC engine has plenty of bottom end and stays strong up to 6,500 RPM, but clutch engagement is a bit too abrupt for our taste. The five-speed manual shifter, however, is tight and accurate with short, easy throws. The Civic's double wishbone suspension has been upgraded with the addition of coil spring. This combines with a longer wheelbase to give the car a more sure-footed, predictable feel. Until you push the speeds up high, that is, then turn in feels sloppy, so the car recovers quickly. Another first for the Civic line are the EX's standard anti-lock brakes. They stop the car from 60 at an average distance of 119 feet. A soft initial pedal gives way to a stiff ABS pulse as the system engages. When it comes to highway ride, the Civic's longer wheelbase and new coil springs deliver a smooth result that would be the envy of some luxury cars. We could do with less tire noise, but the overall cruising effect is one of isolation. Of course, with four-door prices that start at $10,555, one expects such improvements. 
The top-level EX test sedan rolls off the showroom floor for $13,575. But air conditioning and stereo are extra. And as a hatchback that you want, they start at $8,000. The Frugal VX at $10,000. The 92 Civics hit us just right with their sharp new styling, spacious interiors, a very smooth ride, and fine handling. And the VX's superb gas mileage is long overdue and a top-end small car. But all is not perfect with the new Civic. A small trunk opening on the four-door sedan, abrupt clutch, and vague feel in high-speed maneuvers all keep the latest little Honda from being the ultimate small car. On that score, the new Civic is as close to perfection as a small car can get and still pique our interest. We suspect that a lot of other folks, including those that have never owned a Honda, will feel the same way.